How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another pack opening in sh of Shuffles and... Wow, I really messed that up. Welcome back to another episode of pack opening and Shuffles with the Houston team. Let's start off with the weekly mission box. And let's see if we can get three skill changes yet again. Oh, wow, of course I uh, jinxed that. Um, probably going to have to go with hit coins, to be honest. Although ranked coins... I got a lot more ranked coins saved up than hit coins, so I'm going with hit coins. That's a uh, consequence of this update, is now these coins are actually useful. Because you sure as hell ain't going to be getting uh, all the skill changes and premium skill changes just by grinding uh, ranked games every week. I mean, maybe if you finish like Diamond 3 and you do three re refreshes a day, you might. But for most of us that uh, aren't level 100 or finish anywhere near Diamond... That's actually not a bad weekly mission box reward, I guess. Start off by doing some combos. Oh, it's a pretty nice Madelson card. Not exactly. Well, that's not a terrible card, but really not good compared to that Madelson. I didn't even realize he was that good last year. Well, it's not going to help me because he's already black. That sucks. I suppose I can get rid of this card since I have his best card, Black Diamond. No point in keeping that around. Couple of decent Mariners. Oh, that's really not a bad card. And I forgot that it's time to... Craft a premium skill change ticket. Look forward to getting one extra one a week. At least uh, considering that you get every other week from ranked and uh, clutch headshot now. Let's open up some packs. Oh, that's a terrible card. And he even has fielding as a worst stat, so that's just horrible all the way around. Alright, cool, got diamond from premiums. It's definitely not a guarantee every week. Oh, that's too low I power is decent, but that eye is trash. It's the kind of card that'll come with a nice skill set too. 
if I can't use it. Oh, I didn't even know that Rasmussen was converted into a starting pitcher this year. Pretty sure he started as a reliever. He was part of the Willie Adamas trade last year, which I wasn't a huge fan of to begin with. But obviously that worked out pretty well for the Brewers. So, I mean, it worked out well for both teams, really. I think I'll do team select packs this week. That sucks. Well, that doesn't suck. That's going to be a Black Diamond experience. That's a shitty card. Holy Christ. It's not even having that terrible of a season, but man. I don't even know which one I'm going to go with at this point. I basically have everyone that's not like a prime. I mean, I don't even have that many primes that I, that would, I would actually use at this point either. So I guess I'm kind of just like skill hunting, I guess, at this point with these teams like Diamond Packs. Got my rotation sorted out. Got pretty much all the decent relief pitchers. Got all the all the good batters. Unless he has monstrous skills, that's not going to help out. Nope, garbage. Alright, so I've got plenty of Black Diamond pieces saved up. Probably go ahead and do two players. I gonna do a oh, special upgrade. Just want to make sure I don't mulch this uh, Castro real quick. Let's see if that gets me an extra black diamond piece. Nope, not quite. Actually, I'll do some combos first, you never know. Might end up getting another duplicate and use that for Black Diamond experience. It's not a terrible card.
Oh, that's a very terrible diamond card. Seems like I'm seeing tons of uh, like absolute F tier diamond cards today. Hopefully, I see one decent card. Our product is not terrible. I think that's Wayne Knight's best card. And of course I get a crappy gold. Wow, what a shitty day for uh, combos. So let's do this uh, black diamond thing here. I think I'll do Springer. Because if I remember correctly, I still have his barrel it up train. Yeah, so that's not the best train in the world, but I went for uh, the barrel it up bonus because he's got a pretty decent skill set with uh, slugger barrel it up in prediction. So I think I end up keeping that so that he ends up hitting 100 speed with black diamond and special training. Although now that I think about it, he really doesn't even need Black Diamond. I don't know. I'll probably keep that and try it out for a little bit and then try him with a more traditional uh, batter train. I mean, he's not a terrible card. Still got tons of power. All right. Wow, they even gave him like preferential treatment. Only gave him two to the right side and eight to the left to the batting stats. <clears throat> it seems like about three quarters of the prime batters just get two across the board from the black diamond, even if they've got. I mean, obviously, most primes are going to have heavier batters batting bases than a right side and yet it's still almost pretty much even across the board somehow but not on that card and you know what I'm this probably isn't the best choice but I'm going to try to throw premium skill changes at this card because if I hit batter's chem on this card it won't it won't be the end of the world it is the best Houston catcher but I also have the Maldonado card that's kind of like almost as good so I guess I could uh, eventually throw that card in the in the starting lineup if that's what happens probably not what's going to happen but you never know it. Nope, more garbage. Well, now he's uh, almost literally the black hole for skill changes. Gotta be approaching 200 skill changes on this card without seeing two elite skills. 
it's just insane. I've never seen a card that's this hard to skill, especially with such a low uh, bar. All I ask for is two elite skills. I don't give a shit which ones they are. Some combination of Slugger, Spotlight, um, Charisma. I guess that's too much to ask for on this card. Get Batting Machine Prediction. Well, I'm seeing lots of uh, one decent skills. Another one decent skill by itself. Charisma by itself, it's like almost every single one today. Wow. I mean, it, it's got to be 200 at this point. Like, this is just absolutely nuts. It makes no sense. Um, let me see if I can do a great increase reset on somebody. Try to salvage this garbage. Definitely don't want to do one on Alvarez. No one else on the batter side is really that great. Um, they're all pretty decent. Uh, Harris, let me check his stats, because he's got finesse. I don't want to ruin that. I can't remember what his, uh, base looks like. It's been so long since I touched this card. Yeah, so he's got a slight... Pretty well-balanced, but, um... Okay, so he's got 16 for finesse bonus. Yeah, I'll do him because if I do end up somehow like getting a perfect rate increase and, and going down to 14, I can just special train him one more level and fix that. So I'll try my luck on this. Down. Well, that's why I, I wait till I have several of them. Okay, went up a little bit. 69, basically where I started. I think that's enough. I'm not going to test my luck with only one left. Alright, thank you for watching. Have a nice weekend. Bye.